Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amna, and in this video, we are going to talk about the general instruments which are most commonly used while we are performing the surgery. So, the most important instrument which come that is the needle holders. So, what is the use of the needle holder? They are used to hold the suturing needles. As we know that when we have to perform the incision, after the, after the incision, we have to suture that site for that one thing we have to use the needle holders to cover that particular site right so if we talk about the uh, uh, particular points particular parts of the needle holder so these are jaws joints shank ratchet these are the rings and the jaw inserts Moving forward, we're talking about the artery forcep, which is also known as the hemostate. Basically, when we have to uh, cut a particular site, from that, uh, sometimes we are exposed to cut the certain uh, blood vessels as well. So, to the blood vessels, we sometimes just uh, block the blood vessels with the help of the artery forcep. So, they are used in the surgical instrument uh, and they are used to close the ruptured blood vessels. If we talk about the tissue forceps, so they are basically used, they have, they have multiple uses. One of their uses is to collect uh, the different types of material from different places. On the other hand, they are used to, uh, you know, capture the skin while handling the, while performing the surgery in an animals. Uh, Alice tissue forcep, this is a type of the tissue forcep which is used to lift the, or grasping uh, the and retracting the dense or slippery tissues. For example, the tonsils, tissue, vaginal tissue or thyroid tissue. Webcop tissue forcep, the picture is depicting the picture of the Webcop tissue forcep. They are used to the, uh, grasp the delicate tissues and they are used frequently in the intestinal or laparostomy procedures. And they are a bit similar to the forceps, Alice forcep. Lister forceps, when we have a bandage and we have to cut the bandage. So we use the Lister scissors to cut that bandages, bandages or dressings or sometimes other materials are used to cut by the Lister scissors. Those the tissue forcep, they are similar to tissue forcep but they have a pointed teeth and therefore they are known as those the tissue forcep. They are used to hold securely to tissues and it is mainly designed to minimize the damage to biological tissues. Curate. Curate is used to grasp or scrapping for scrapping or for debriding tissues and it is used to remove the pathological tissues. For example, if we are doing the, uh, the surgery in particular part for example in intestine and from that intestine we have to scratch we have to scrap some material and we are going to do that one particular thing with the help of the curate towel clamp towel clamp are the surgical instrument which are used to secure towels or the surgical wrapping during medical procedure right for example we have the we have to cover the animal with the towels so uh, towel should not be uh, handled improperly so therefore to grasp it properly we use sometimes the towel clamp to hold the towel tightly and then we have intestinal forceps uh, what is the work of the intestinal forceps so they are used to grasp the intestinal tissue securely during surgical procedure so it means that whatever whatever surgery Whichever surgery related to the surgical intestinal tissues, we use this intestinal forcep. And they are commonly used in the laparostomy and intestinal processes. Sponge forcep. Sponge forcep are used to hold on to swabs and they are used to grasp the tissues as well. Swabs like cotton swabs, whenever we have to... Uh, watch some material, watch certain skin or the surface. We use the sponge forcep to uh, swab that particular area. Uh, so we know about the scissors. There are mainly three types of the scissor discussed over here. Blunt and blunt. You can see over here the tips of 
the two sides of the scissor are having edges so they are known as blunt and blunt scissors while here you can see that sharp and sharp scissors sharp and blunt scissor here you can see that one side of the scissor is pointed while the other one is not pointed right here there is no pointed so blunt and blunt sharp and blunt and in the sharp and sharp the two sides of the points are uh, have uh, edges are pointed have ha, uh, they are having a point so they are known as sharp and sharp scissors the tar scissor uh, they are most commonly used in the surgical procedure procedures and they are used to remove the suture material right for suturing we use the needle holder and the tissue forceps as well and for removing that suture material we use the letar scissors right so this is all about the basic instrument which are used in our veterinary clinic thank you for watching this hope you understand and subscribe to my channel